Hello fellas, welcome back to a brand new video. I've came to meet Joe with his Triumph TR6. This is a 1973 mate. Yes. And it's a bit special. I first seen the car at the Birmingham NEC Classic Car Show. It's got a Cosworth YB. Yeah. The car was originally built by Terry Drury. Terry Drury Racing, yeah. Uh -huh. You were telling us that he uh, used to build touring cars, the RS500s? Yeah, he built, I believe he built three. All this 500 touring cars. Yeah. Terry had over 50 years of race car preparation experience. He also raced in the BDCC with Sierra Cosworths, Alfa Romeo GT V6s. Terry also built and raced for GT40s. My personal favourite of Terry's was a legendary Ford GT40 engine swapped Ford Transit Supervan. Terry built this beast in 1971 for its Brands Hatch debut. From the time that van was built to the day it's been lost and its whereabouts is just totally unknown. Unfortunately, for now, it's just resigned to the history books. Now, unfortunately, Terry Drury died in 2017, but as you can see, he certainly knew how to build a car. So let's have a look at this triumph. He built this in the early 90s. In the early 90s? Yeah. How long have you owned it? We've owned it since, I think the back end of 2019 is right. when we purchased it, yeah. And it's not, it is a really, when you walk around it, you can see it's a well-built car. This hasn't been just chucked together, has it? This has no, been, it's, it's yeah. all proper switches, proper it's, hoses. It's been bolted together correctly, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, got, it's got the right bits on it. It's got the right recipe for being quite a bit of a tool, yeah. It's a mint looking thing, mind. Totally different, isn't it? It's also... A convertible but you've got a, a bolt on roof yeah this is the hard top that came with the car um like i say yeah originally when we bought it it did have the soft top fitted but it just adds a bit more stability and a bit more rigidity uh -huh. with having the with having the hard top on it you um, see and you've drove up with the roof off and you can feel the difference can't yeah, you yeah it's just like any it? it's like a typical convertible where they're a bit because the main strength in the car is the roof uh -huh. so this ties it all in whereas a, a convertibles you can kind of feel when you go over bumps they're a bit Flexy. Yeah, they're a bit wobbly, yeah. So on the outside, what's, I mean, I'm not that clued up on Triumphs. Yeah. What's different to a standard Triumph on the outside? On the outside, uh, well, it's it, it's not running the bumpers. It would normally run chrome bumpers. Right. So the bumpers have been taken off it. It's got fiberglass rear wings. Mm -hmm. It's got fiberglass boot lid. It's got a TVR petrol, petrol cap on it. Fiberglass wings. The mirrors are sort of a bit, they're, they're very similar to, or, or they are pretty much the same as the ones that they used to run on the, the touring cars. The touring cars. I can see yeah. that, eh? Yeah. So it's got that, the bonnet's got louvers in it. That's, uh -huh. They've been properly pressed in, it's not been grafted in. So that's, you know, they've been cut in uh, properly. The front grille, it's not just your normal sort of chicken mesh, flimsy grill. It's quite a thick weave. Oh, it is. It's um, a nice, nice bit of mesh. That, stainless isn't it? grill, yeah. And uh, it's got the f the front chin spoiler. It does look it. nice, mine, from the front. Yeah. And then we've sort of de-chromed the headlight rings and the headlights are that clear, uh, like a clear lens. Oh, right. Uh -huh. as, op as opposed to being like pattern. Like, yeah, like a crosshatch kind of, of, of style. The front badge is what we had made. We had that 3D printed. To That's sort for of, Terry Drury Racing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it stands for Terry Drury. Because it was, it's, this, it's a very similar font to the TR badge, the same size. But when we bought the car, it didn't have anything on it and it looked just look, looked a bit plain. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Just to give it a bit something. Yeah, so, so we, 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 we thought we'd, we'd add that. We, had, we added these decals on the, on the rear wings. It looked a bit plain uh -huh. when, uh -huh. we, when, when we first bought it. It had some different wheels on it. These are magnesium race light. Are they actually magnesium, are they? Yeah, they're, they're actually printed. I think it says magnesium it, Yeah, somewhere. it says them on them, yeah. Are they, are they light when you take them off? They are, they are, they're very light, yeah. I don't, they're not available anymore, mm -hmm. um, and they were quite expensive when they, when they were available, to be honest. I think it was about £600 a wheel. So yeah, that's the heart of the beast. So the good old Codsworth YB, 2 litre 16 valve turbo, for yeah. anyone that doesn't know. But you can see it's all... All aero quick, just nice hoses, isn't it? It's not just yeah, like a rubber hose with a Jubilee clip. It's all they're all really yeah, well they're all AM fit, fittings throughout, you know, and uh, braided hosing and whatnot, and silicon hoses, the right Norma uh, boost clamps that uh, is typically used on the on on boost hoses and a lot of hoses. Yeah, so it's got the right it's got the right bits on it. It's 205. 205 engine block. 
205 engine block, like yeah. Two-wheel drive engine block. What kind of power's it put now, do you know? We had it on the dyno when we first bought it, and it did 250 at the wheels. Mm -hmm. But since then, we've... We've, we've basically, we've re refreshed a lot of things on it, but we've done some upgrades. It's, it's got a, a full three inch turbo to tip exhaust, one box. We've had the turbo rebuilt. Now the turbo, I don't know how you would classify the turbo where, because it's not a hybrid turbo, but it was built by GP Turbos, Grant at, at GP Turbos. And, and what he did was, it's a four before manifold for packaging reasons. Right. So, um, because Obviously, it's quite tight uh -huh. in here. And what Grant told us was that the 4x4 exhaust housings flow slightly better than the two-wheel drive housings. Right. So when we, st when we gave him the turbo, he, he, does, he does an upgrade where he upgraded our... He, I think he, flo he flowed the exhaust housing so it flows a bit better to basically 4x4 spec because this is originally a, a, a two-wheel drive exhaust housing. Then we've had a billet wheel fitted mm -hmm. to it, and it's got three, 360 degree thrust bearings in it as well. Right. But it's the same same size. It's not been bored out inside or anything like that, um, which is what a hybrid would be. Um, and it's all been sort of balanced. He says better than it would have been from from the factory. Right. Like, do you know? So what do I mean? you all kind of, do you all kind of boost you making? It boosting about sixteen. About it was doing about 16 psi when it made two, 250, uh -huh. but now it does about 24. Right, so it's probably like stage three. It's about stage three. Um, it's obviously got the full width intercooler in it and whatnot. Um, it's running the stage two tuning package from MSD, which was a three bar map sensor, um, dark greens that we had cleaned and flow tested. Mm -hmm. um, dark and green injectors. Dark green, yeah, more. I think the 403s. Mm -hmm. um, we had a Dash 31 actuator fit, fitted, a new fuel regulator, um, and the chip and the plugs, they, 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 that's what came in the kit. So then we fitted a Group A air filter on it. Um, and that's pretty much it with regards to power mods. So more than enough for this car as well wasn't yeah, it yeah i mean to be honest at, at 250 it was lively yeah it was lively at 250 and i was saying i says D does it really need to be more be in any be any more and my brother was like oh well the, the gearbox was out of it at the time and he says do you know what let's just refresh this so we know where we stand with the turbo and grant offers this package and and x y and z so we ended up doing that the swedish inlet manifold came on it um i like that manifold that inlet mine look yeah nice. it's like a billet kind of style manifold so what gearbox are you on t5 on a t5 we just had it because with two wheel drive gearbox because with two wheel drive gearbox when the gearbox was out we fitted a, a helix clutch not a paddle organic disc mm -hmm. while i was there we did the rear main seal and then we bolt and then we had the flywheel skimmed and we bolted it back up with arp hardware um, so we had new bearings seals synchros the full full works on the gearbox we then had the, uh, a custom-made prop shaft for it because the the one that came with the car was, I think it was a Triumph Stag prop, but it wasn't because it was done many years ago. It was a bit of a hybrid. It was it, it, it just needed refreshing, mm -hmm. and um, a place not far from here, I think, did the uh, recreated the, the prop shaft. We gave them the dimensions. They did a good job of that, and then it's running a TR6 diff, but with a Quave ATB limited slip diff in in there right so, so, so you, yeah it's so a limited slip diff in the back as well it's got yeah atb quaif in the back and then it's running uprated drive shafts uprated hubs Mate, it's a mint thing mind i love it me yeah it's, just it's totally different like i've never seen another try on for the cosy yv in no it's uh, so well done as well typically it was a 2.5 straight six in them 150 the original horsepower. triumph engine yeah. 150 the, horsepower originally 150 horsepower which for back in the day i was going to see in the 70s in the 70s was was a lot was quite a lot there was yeah there was it was, it was quite a powerful thing back then and uh the previous owner ended up turbocharging the original engine right on a, a jam speed turbo kit now obviously th this was in the 80s so Back then, you know, the development of a modern management and fueling 
just wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So he fitted this turbo and it never it never ran right. And when he did it, when he had a power run on it, it made less power turbocharged than it did really non-turbocharged. Yeah. So what happened then was he took it to a, a number of tuners and and tried to make it run better and to try and get the power out of it. And what happened then was no one could really do anything with it. And someone said to him, why don't you go see Terry Drury at Terry Drury Racing, see what he can do with it. Now, he went to see him and Terry made it run better, but fundamentally with the old mechanical fuel injection, it was flawed. So mm -hmm. there wasn't, there was nothing Terry really could do with it. So the owner says, well, what, have you got any suggestions? What, what, where should I go from here? And Terry at the time had a brand new Crate 205 engine sat there. Sat there, and he says, "Why don't you just, why don't you just put the, the <laughs> put a Cosy engine in it?" And and the 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 chap we bought it from was just like, you know, go, go for it, go for it, put it so in. So Terry didn't build this for himself; he built it for a customer. Built it for it. It was a customer car. He yeah. That he Did built. Terry own it in the end? Terry didn't own it in the end. He, so he just they built just it became for really good friends, and over the time the previous owner uh, owned it, he obviously got, you know, as you can imagine, a, a guy who bought this in the 70s, because he bought it in 77. So it was originally white. It was originally a white oh, car. Oh, this car was originally white? Yeah, originally white. And he hated, apparently he hated white cars. So he had it, he had it painted. He had the, he was, I'd say he was, you know, he was a bit of a boy racer, if you like, for, mm -hmm. for, for the seventies and eighties. So, he, you know, that's where the, the fiberglass panels came in and whatnot. So he had all that done and it, it just escalated from there. He yeah, ended up ex 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 experimenting and whatnot. And as you can imagine, when we purchased it, you know, two, two, two years ago, it, he was getting quite old. Yeah, I, t I tell you what, honestly, the one thing I, that stands out for me about this car yeah. is how well it's been done. Well, just the, the fit, the finish, yeah, just everything. It, there's, it's just all so well, just put together. It's all proper, just yeah, proper. You know, just everything's I mean, put, like really, really well done. Yeah, uh, we've got a relocation on the oil filter there. Mm -hmm. um, we've got quick releases on the fuel on the fuel lines now. The, the, the previous owner wanted to. Because we've got a switch on the dash that runs the fuel pump. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was tiny he, inside. He was really into his his gadgets. You know, uh, I, I've got the I've put the the digital speedo in it just so I've got a bit more accuracy. But uh -huh. these are all military spec switches in the in the car. So he just liked his gadgets and he Can just flip one because them switches yeah. look nice, mind. What you do, you pull it out and then. It's ah, sort of, right. So, so it, you can't accidentally knock it. Yeah, you can't knock it. So that yeah. switch pulls like that. Yeah, and then you pull it up. So has that got two settings? Uh, oh no, it's like a. Uh, so you pull it up there. Yeah. Or you can. Or on off moment momentarily or something, mom. Uh, do you know what? I'm not too sure what M O M means. Ah, uh, oh, the nice switches though. But yeah, the proper the feel really sort of you know the well well made switches and and you've got you've got these these buttons here and basically what you've got when you drive it you can't look at the you can't look at the gauges because you, right. you're hanging on you know, <laughs> right you're hanging on for dear life so when you've done a pull or when you've you know you've 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 driven within the speed limit shall we say and you want to know what fuel pressure you was running at, at wide open throttle or the same with the boost you press one of them buttons and then and the needle just goes oh, to where it was to where it was so you've got that on the boost you've got that on the fuel i mean they're all stack gauges mm -hmm. just put all stack gauges in it the uh, firing it's a shame that's uh, got a bit misted but farringdon rev counter in it yeah the the, the, oh, the he, 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 he really didn't scheme uh, skimp on every on anything you know there's the ecu in the in the in what would, would have been the glove box uh-huh is it just one cos with management? Cosy level six, just two wheel drive management and whatnot. And when we when we bought the car, is is increased the size of the clutch pedal because it was it was a bit harder to press. But these were just the the throttle and the brake just remain the same, and the footprint of the standard pedal rubber is tiny. 
right? And as you can see, the throttle pedal was very narrow. So when you drove it, you could very easily, when you went for the brake, put your foot through the gap between the throttle pedal and the brake. Oh, right. So we've fitted the, 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 yeah, the, the pedal covers just so it's, you've got a bit more footprint and obviously the brake, you, you, you want a decent pedal for your brake. Uh -huh. So, you know, we, uh, we fitted that and to be fair, it's, it's a, lot, a lot better on the, on the, on the pedals. So, and we changed the steering wheel. Uh-huh. Um, that's very upright, isn't it? Like steering wheel, it's not. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a strange, it's a strange seating position because the steering wheel. Have a seat there. Yeah, Have a seat there. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, your feet are quite level as well with your bum, aren't they? Yeah. The, the lower you sit in the seat, the better because you haven't really got a lot of room for your legs underneath the steering wheel. The, st the original steering wheel was a bit bigger than that. So for, for you know, for a big guy like me, uh -huh. It was hard, it, it just rubbed your, your knees. Rubbed your knees. Yeah. So we put a slightly smaller wheel in it. Um, it's got a Burton Power short shift. So that's... Um, it's quite comfortable. I know it's like the pedals... The pedals are off... This. The pedals are offset... That to, way a bit. ...to the right. The steering wheel's offset to the left and you <laughs> sit somewhere in the middle. Mate, it's a mint thing. Can we go out now? Can we go for a drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have I got seatbelts? Oh, you have. Good. I don't know. I don't know how effective they'd be. Fucking. Am I better on with them on or off? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the guy sold this car because he had. I think he had either had one or two new knees. And he, look at look how I'm getting in. Aye. It. You can imagine getting Aye, in this, isn't with, it? It's cosy. Was it like in the summer's day, red hot? I took my mate out, the guy who I was with at this NEC, just at the back end of summer. And it was hot. And my feet, my socks stunk of petrol <laughs> at the end of the day. And the heat from the downpipe, because the thing is, this tunnel... Is this where your exhaust runs under here? Yeah. And runs, runs down there and through there. Uh -huh. But the tunnel is fibreglass. So this, on, on the original car, to take the gearbox out, you can take the gearbox out through the car. Really? Yeah. So... This what? ain't this ain't a, a metal. Imagine if the prop. Imagine if the prop shaft fails. Snaps. We're going to lose we're, our we're, legs. We're, well, we're going to end up with no teeth, or legs, or or both, or. Yeah, honestly, I've never been so nervous to go out in the car, and you just made it a little bit worse for us. Nah, it'd be fine. <laughs> Whoa, touch. Hopefully, on, touch wood. Touch wood. We've got a bit of wood in here, so. <laughs> That was just cosy. That new will click there. That was just cosy. <laughs> Typical T5. All right, whenever you're ready, mate. So you were saying your brother as well, he's used this car, he drove the wheels, didn't he? Wheels, yeah, 400 mile round trip. Um, in the summer? Uh, or was it just like it was about a month about a month or two ago. Which, so like October time ish, yeah, November. It was a bit wet, so he says. Um God, it feels low at the ground and I'm just looking out the window here. It's like I said, it's it's it doesn't look low, because there is a bit of gap between the wheel and the arch, but you do sit really low in the car and the chassis is quite low to the ground, so you can't slam the car to, to, to the floor. You just can't do it. Does it catch on speed bumps or is it all right? It does, yeah. It does catch on speed bumps? We've had the exhaust on so it runs through the chassis. It's, it's, it's tight. Um, but before before it wasn't running through the chassis and it, and it caught on the... You, you catch the exhaust on the road. It just lights up the rear wheels, easy. That back one's the one that goes first. Is it? Yeah, so you do you do have to be very even with a limited slip diff, it still lights up one way look first. Yeah, because I think because it's a tall bison diff, there is a bit there is a certain amount of slip now. If it was in the dry, it kind there is a bit of it does move around a bit at the back, but and then it does get grip. Get grip and then it does go where you want it to go. So can you drift this or are you 
Oh, is it too we're, twitchy or? It's quite a short wheelbase car. Uh -huh. And the thing is, we're, we're not say we're on the back wheels, but we're not sitting that much further forward of the back wheels. No. So. A normal Sierra, this would be the back seats in relation to the back wheels, wouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've, we've got literally we've, that's the back tub there, isn't it? The back wheel yeah, large tub yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and the thing is, with it being an old car and an old chassis, we've never really sort of done a, you know, we've never done a burnout in yeah. it or we've, we've abused it. You respected it. You've got to. There's no two ways about it. You've, you've, you've got to. Ideal condition. No, it's a bit damp the roads as well, aren't they? Yeah. I was noticing your rev counter the other way, it bounces up and down. Yeah, it does it, 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 it does a bit. And the same with this the, the speedo. The speedo's on um, it picks up off I think it's the rear C V, it's got magnets on it and a and a and a sensor. Uh -huh. And that's what gives it the um, basically gives it a, a reading on that on that speedo, but I run the the GPS one there for a bit more accuracy, just so I know, you know. Is that just like a one-off ABS or me? Yeah, had it a, had it a while, yeah. It's it it. new as well, like we're literally just got the... It's cosy. Obviously, no back seats. Uh, it's definitely... No, sir. And the thing is with your seat, the battery is behind your seat. Oh, right, uh-huh. So, you've lost... A bit of leg room. A, a foot of leg room, yeah. It's still plenty of leg room though. I mean, it's quite narrow for my legs, but yeah, it's not uncomfortable. I mean, you got to think for the for the seventies, cars obviously as cars have got old, uh, newer, they've evolved in size. Uh, Whereas this is old you know, school. Yeah, Little. not really got a lot of boot space and um, you know things of that nature. But yeah, it's is that for your mother? That's to get out. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's the handle. You pull it towards you, and that released the, oh, I'm not the door for you to get out. So. And then obviously your window wide there, yeah? Your little door pocket there. Get your COVID mask in. Yeah, can't have that. It's just old, isn't it? You Aye. just don't see them about. Like, it's old, and our car this is a sleeper. Because no one's going to expect it to have a 300 knob rig, because you YB in. It's, it definitely surprises some people, that's for sure. If you try, if I say nice and I was on my Sierra and you tried to race us, I'd be get hard. You think, yeah, whatever. Little, little uh, triumph trying to give us a race. A flip. We'll dust my Sierra probably. <laughs> Like what did five or something? Well, there's seven J wheels, and we have. Uh, I'm not. To be honest with you, there might be. They're either one nine five or one eight five. I believe. Right, quite slim. Slim, but there is. There, we've got quite. There's quite a big tire wall. Uh huh. Which just yes, which does. Um, you can go for there. Six. Yeah. <laughs> like I say though, this to me is just so well put together. Yeah, like, it's, it's like. Taking all spit fire inside with these switches and yeah, it's you know it's it's not like car quality. It's like just so well made, like all this panel and got nice screws. Yeah, stainless screws. And that was that was the previous yeah, owner. That. The previous owner loved like you know swapping bits and pieces and so well. What's this for? That's for the heater. Is it? Yeah. Feel the heat there on my feet as well. It gets hot. It does. It does get hot. There's no two ways about that. I seen you and you made it at the NEC with this yeah. car. And what did you make call it? The coffin. Coffin on wheels. Coffin on wheels. Yeah. The guy who's done all the work for us says you need a good undertaker. <laughs> I'm guessing you've got no plans to go more power or anything. My brother wanted to put a T34 and a hybrid. I go mad on it, like and. 
I think this turbo is good for about 340, 350 uh -huh. horsepower. So. <laughs> you look as scared as me. Me is. That spin and that forward. Yeah. And it's dry water too, isn't it? Yeah. I never thought I'd get like some better tyres on the back. Well, the thing is, with better tyres, you, you struggle finding decent tyres in the size that, right. that we need. Uh -huh. You can't just put like some ER1s or something. Yeah, I, 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 no, don't get me wrong, I think you can put some uh, slicks on it. My brother runs slicks when he does track days. But what, like full slicks? Or semi slicks? Semi -slicks. Ah. Uh, Yokohama. Uh -huh. But it's the same with anything, isn't it? You make it more grippy on the back and you start breaking things. Uh -huh. What, like dips and dips? Because it's still on the tri standard. Triumph diff at the minute, isn't it? Like the casing and the yeah, but the casings are really are well, they good? They're, 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 it's they're, not they're a weak point. No, it's I mean that's it's all polybushed throughout. Um, but the diff casings and the diffs on the TRs. So what we have put up there. I mean, yeah, the the, the, uh, the diff casings. I mean, I mean if I. seconds when he goes to steal the final Mustang, Eleanor. Eleanor and he and he goes and has a word and he goes and talks to the car first <laughs> like is that what you do before you come out with this that's what you've got to do you know you've, it's, it's literally the same relationship imagine like that was the end of third imagine more fourth uh, fifth, fourth and fifth, fifth. what's it what you what's you what your brother had out of this in like fifth on a private road I've with not me driving, um, it's nearly 140. But you can imagine, and I'd have been squealing if I was sat here. I was. Were you in the passenger seat? I was in the passenger seat, like. Uh, I wouldn't have enjoyed that bite. But the thing was, we had the we had the soft top on. Right. And it was almost peeling the soft top off. <laughs> Did you see this is bolted on as well? It's hard top yeah, at the minute. It, it, it bolts in, ran the ran the windscreen wind free. Screen. And, in the uh, back, in the back, yeah. I'd have been parked up for a long time before you yeah, bought it. Yeah, it, it, it didn't do many miles at all, so it needed a refresh. Uh -huh. It needed a, it needed a bit of develop, bit more development, and a bit of a refresh. Um, and it just, um, it, it's just made it better. Now, with regards to the, the power increase, personally, I didn't think it needed it. <laughs> But, but your brother did. But my brother was like, no, I'm having this done and <laughs> he's paying the bill. So it was, oh, I it. just left him to it and I just shook my head and just said, you know, you, you, you have it done. <laughs> Man, this is fast as well, wasn't it? It don't hang about. Nah, you got light there, mate. That light lets you know that you've hit full boost. Is that what it is? Yeah. So that light like, flashes. So that light there is telling you you've hit full boost? It tells you, yeah, it tells you you've clipped the, <laughs> the, ma the maximum <laughs> threshold on the boost, on the boost setting on it, yeah. Mate, thanks a lot for that though. No, it's uh, been a uh, terrifying experience, but a good one nonetheless. Well, at least uh, <coughs> we're both alive me and a back do you want to leave a link to any instagrams or anything like that i haven't got any instagrams no no um maybe it's a few shouts there's a chat we use rob um at covert car and classic he uh, he's done all the work of the recommissioning he knows his trs like he really does know his stuff mm -hmm. so really big thanks to rob um mate ad for a few bits of paint work he's helped out with the badge and whatnot and and, and you know, a few other bits and pieces, so nice one, AD, and yeah, just uh, just everyone who's been involved right. with it, if, if, if I forgot anyone, you know. All right. You know, I'm glad well, you've... Mate, thanks for taking me out, Ronzi, it's been, it's been good. 
been no, good. I've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, fellas. Well, I'll leave a link to my Instagram below if you want to check that out. But yet again, thanks for watching. I'll catch us on the next one. Do I go out and do 140 in it now? No, do I, <laughs> <laughs>